Now these are the instructions for the loving kindness or metta meditation. This is part of the Brahma Vihara meditation, which includes metta or loving kindness, karuna or compassion, sympathetic joy or mudita, and equanimity or upekka. Now start like this. Remember a time when you were happy, when you felt that warm, glowing feeling of loving kindness, contentment or happiness. It's like perhaps you were holding a baby and looking into its eyes and you felt this radiant feeling of loving kindness in your heart, or perhaps a puppy or a kitten. Now take that warm feeling and radiate it to yourself. Help it along with phrases like, May I be happy. May I be content. May I be peaceful. Or whatever wholesome feeling you're feeling at the moment arises. Now sit for 30 minutes minimum and do not move. No twitching, no moving, no itching, no adjusting. You can swallow, but move very little. Now this is a smiling meditation. Put a little Buddha smile on your lips and feel that. Not only smile with your mouth, but also from your eyes and from your mind. Smile for the whole sitting, even if your cheeks ache a little bit. When you lose your smile, you have likely lost that warm feeling. So re-smile and feel that smile again and again and again. Radiate this feeling to yourself for the first 10 minutes of the sitting. For the next 20 minutes of the sitting, or the balance if you want to sit longer, and you should always sit longer if things are going well, pick out a spiritual friend. This is someone you like and respect. They are the same sex and they are alive. Easy. You like them. They will be your meditation home object for the rest of the session. For the balance of this meditation sitting, send loving kindness to this spiritual friend. Put them in your heart. Radiate this warm, glowing feeling of loving kindness to them using phrases like, May John or Mary be happy. Just as I feel this warm, loving kindness for myself, may they also feel this feeling for themselves. May they be safe. May they be content. May they be peaceful. Don't make it a mantra. Just help along the feeling. If the feeling's strong, then no need to say a phrase. Just be with the feeling of loving kindness surrounding them in your heart. Now your mind is going to wander away. At first you might only be on the meditation object for five seconds or at most a minute. The hindrances of sensual desire, aversion, doubt, restlessness, or sloth and torpor will come to distract your mind away from radiating that happy feeling to your friend. Six are it. Six are the stories, thoughts, disturbances, distractions that arise. Six are the mind that starts to go off and think and spin more stories. So what are the six R's? Well, they're actually part of right effort. This is exactly what the Buddha taught. The first R is to recognize. Recognize you were taken away from your object of the feeling of loving kindness. And what took you away? An unwholesome feeling, a distraction, a hindrance. The second is to release your attention to that feeling, to that unwholesome feeling, that distraction, that thing that took you away from your object. Just stop thinking those thoughts right there. Just release them. The third R is relax. Relax any tension and tightness that was left and that keeps pulling you back to thinking those thoughts or even beating yourself up for having them. Just relax, especially the head. Where does thinking start? It's always in the head. There's subtle tensions and tightnesses that are there. Relax those. Then, re-smile. Bring that little Buddha smile back. Put that on your lips, through your eyes, 
and your mind and feel that smile. The fifth R is return. Return to the feeling of loving kindness and stay with that until the next distraction arises. Stay with your object in meditation for as long as you can, but when your mind wanders away, 6R. The last R is just to keep it going. Repeat. Stay with loving kindness and your spiritual friend. Run these six R's when you get distracted again. Now your goal is to stay with your spiritual friend for as long as you can. Do not push or try too hard. Just do it. Pretend you're on a vacation and you're just relaxing comfortably without a care in the world. Share this contentment with your friend and smile. Don't push. Just like when you hold a baby, you don't try to feel love. You just feel it when you look into its eyes. So please, don't try too hard. Don't control what's going on. Allow everything to be there. If you go off your object of meditation, 6R. Recognize, release, relax, re-smile, return, repeat. Now for walking meditation, pick out a place to walk that is quiet and away from disturbances. Stroll at a moderate pace and don't look around. Radiate loving kindness to your spiritual friend just like you did in your sitting. Keep them in your heart while you walk and wish them a happy feeling. 6R whenever there is a distraction. This is the same as sitting meditation, except now you're walking. And when you get really good at this and things start to happen for you, don't hesitate to send us an email at info at org. We'll give you the next steps as you progress. And may all of you attain Nibbana quickly. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu.